I'm Dan Lashoff, the director of NRDC's Climate and Clean Air Program, and today we launched our report on reducing carbon pollution from America's existing power plants, our biggest source of uh, climate pollution. What we presented is a plan to sharply reduce carbon pollution from power plants at low cost by using a flexible set of compliance options and uh, by taking into account the fact that states have different starting points when it comes to their electricity mix. Um, so this is an innovative idea uh, that shows that we can get big reductions at low cost with benefits that uh, exceed the compliance cost by a factor of 6 to 15. So we think this is a really good deal, and uh, we're excited about the reception it's gotten so far. But this is the biggest opportunity President Obama has to use his existing authority under the Clean Air Act to take a big bite out of carbon pollution. Well, after the year we've had, uh, starting with uh, killer heat waves, a devastating drought, uh, and then Hurricane Sandy, I think it's obvious to everybody that we need to do something about climate change. And it's clear to the president. He's talked about uh, the need to reduce carbon pollution and the need to protect our children's futures. The plan has two key features. It sets state-specific carbon pollution emission rates for existing power plants. And then the second key feature is it provides extensive compliance flexibility to allow those standards to be met at very low cost by using the full range of measures that actually reduce emissions. Uh, so that means everything from uh, improving the boilers that operate at existing coal plants uh, to installing better insulation in people's houses to reduce electricity demand. What's exciting about this is that we don't need to wait for Congress to get started on making very significant reductions in the carbon pollution that's driving climate change. The good news is that we know where the carbon is, and now we just need to go get it.